Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. Over the last few lectures we have been discussing a very important topic particularly about a important class of organometallic compounds these are transition metal carbene complexes. Transition metal carbene complexes are important because they are important intermediates in many catalytic cycles they serve as catalysis uh, catalyst for uh, many catalytic uh, reactions and that is why they become uh, very important. Now these transition metal carbon complexes are usually designated as 1 transition metal bonded to a carbonic moiety which has a sigma bond as well as pi bond and this carbon is having a sp2 center sp2 hybridized carbon which is multiply bonded with the transition metal we have also seen that these transition metal complexes having this transition metal carbonic moiety have two kinds of interactions prevalent one is ligand to metal sigma interaction and the other is transition metal to ligand pi interaction. Now in our last class we had seen that this kind of transition metal carbene complexes can be classified into two types one is Fischer carbene and the other is Schrock carbene. Now each of these carbenes this <coughs> has a Cr2 moiety being bound to the transition metal and each of these carbenes does show this two type of interaction one is ligand to metal and the other is metal to ligand. Now as for the Fischer carbene we had looked into the <coughs> reactivity or we have looked into the bonding in terms of the molecular orbital responsible for are uh, uh, this kind of uh, Fischer carbene complexes. We have looked into the orbital interaction of Cr2 fragments with that of the orbitals <coughs> of the transition metal and what we saw that this is comprised of two interaction. One is ligand to metal sigma bonding interactions that involved uh, metal D type orbital which is empty interacting with a ligand sp2 carbonic moiety. So, here this is filled and this is empty and the ligand is donating electron onto the uh, empty metal orbital and this is represented by Tm ligand to metal sigma interaction. We had also seen that the second component of this 
transition metal to ligand pi interaction consists of a metal d orbital interacting with an empty p z orbital of the ligand and this time around this one is filled and this one is empty and the electron donation happens from the metal to the d a p z orbital p z orbital at the carbonic center. So, this is designated by T m 2 ligand pi type interaction. Now, in our last discussion what we had seen that in this kind of interaction the carbon center is in singlet spin state. That is because that uh, there is that sp 2 hybridized carbon center is occupied by 2 electrons and the p z orbitals remains empty. So, Fischer carbene represents a singlet carbene and then there are two kinds of donation happening one from uh, the carbene lone pair donating to vacant metal d orbital and then a metal uh, full filled metal d orbital donating to vacant p z orbital and that comprises these two kind of uh, bonding. Now, if we analyze this interaction bit more closely what can be seen that because of the sigma donation hmm, that happens from the carbene lone pair on to the transition metal and that because of the back donation is not as prominent as that of the sigma donation there is a partial positive charge at the Fischer carbene. So, over here there is a partial positive charge at the Fischer carbene and hence Fischer carbene reacts as an electrophile or undergoes nucleophilic attacks. So, Fischer carbenes are singlet carbenes and because of del positive charge on carbene carbonic carbon Fischer carbene reacts as electro electrophile. This is a significant property of Fischer carbene and that arises because of predominant predominance of this ligand to transition metal sigma donation which is not fully replenished by the transition metal to ligand pi back donation. As a result there is this partial positive charge on the carbonic center and which uh, 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 transform Fischer carbene to react as an electrophile. Now, let us take a look at how the scenario uh, uh, develops in case of the Schrock carbene. In Schrock carbene uh, similarly we have two interaction one involves metal to ligand as well as the other in involves ligand to the metal. Now, in this case in case of Schrock carbene the uh, carbene <coughs> is in triplet state that means that sp2 as well as the pz orbital each are occupied by one electron each and they covalently interact with singly filled 
uh, uh, metal orbitals. So, in case of uh, Schrock carbene, the analogous uh, uh, orbital diagram can be uh, is drawn over here. Uh, for example, metal orbital interacting with a carbon sp2 type orbital and each having one electron. So, this conveys this transition metal to ligand sigma interaction. Now, this is a pure covalent interaction one electron being shared by each of the metal as well as uh, uh, the, ca the carbene sp2 hybridized orbital and both are partially uh, half filled or uh, half filled both of the metal and the ligand orbitals are half filled. Now, as far as the transition metal to ligand pi interaction is observed similar scenario exists where a metal the metal d orbital interacts with p z of the carbene where each of these are half filled. So, this also is a sp 2 orbital and the metal as, the, as well as the ligand orbitals are half filled and they undergo a covalent interaction of the type pi type and unlike in Fischer carbene which had been a dative interaction over here, we have two bonds being formed simple by a covalent interaction transition metal ligand sigma bond as well as transition metal ligand pi bonds. Uh, as a result um, uh, because of this uh, Schrock carbonic center being uh, uh, triplet being triplet in nature and that one electron resides in the C S P 2 uh, orbital as well as one electron in the P z orbital and they uh, interact uh, with partially filled metal orbitals of appropriate symmetry giving transition metal ligand sigma bond as well as transition metal ligand pi bond. Thus, as a result of these uh, uh, as the electronegative car carbon is more electronegative than the uh, transition metal, the carbonic center has a del minus charge always and hence the Schrock carbene uh, reacts as a uh, nucleophile. So, because of, of del minus uh, charge on carbonic carbon Schrock carbene reacts as nucleophile. So, here we see that uh, interesting correlation emerges out that as the carbonic carbons are more electronegative uh, uh, than the metal center in this case because of pure covalent bond being formed uh, the sigma as well as pi type the carbon center is del negative hmm. uh, uh, the carbonic center is delta negative and as a result shock carbene acts reacts as a nucleophile. So, here we see that uh, even though uh, that two different uh, different reactivity emerges uh, because of the nature of bonding that takes place between the carbon moiety and the transition metal. 
and uh, what is seen that in uh, Fischer carbene which is a singlet carbene two coordinate bonds uh, 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 form and these two coordinates bond are ligand to metal uh, sigma coordinate bond as well as transition metal to ligand pi coordinate bond and as the extent of pi coordinate bond is not as effective as that of um, ligand to metal sigma coordinate bond, there is a partial positive charge on the carbonic center of the Fischer carbene resulting in uh, the Fischer carbene uh, behaving like an electrophile. On the other hand, uh, for the Schrock carbene uh, which is in triplet state, the carbene uh, sp2 orbital as well as the mtpz orbital, they are uh, partially he filled that each, each is occupied by one uh, electron as a result the, this carbonic moiety interact uh, with the uh, <coughs> partially filled metal orbitals uh, resulting in transition metal ligma sigma bond and as well as transition metal ligand pi bonds. And owing to the greater electronegativity of this uh, carbon uh, uh, than that of the trans transition metal. Uh, the uh, the, uh, the two bonds, two covalence bonds that are formed are polarized towards carbon resulting in carbon being del minus uh, or partially negative and because of uh, this del minus charge on the carbonic carbon, uh, Schrock carbene reacts as a nucleophile. So, we see two different kind of reactivity emerging out the type of bonding uh, that is present uh, between the carbonic moiety and the transition metal and the commonality between this bonding is that this bonding has two components, each of the uh, have two components that is ligand to metal sigma donation as well as metal to ligand pi back uh, donation as well, but they pan out differently to uh, give different kind of reactivities <coughs> as uh, discussed here. We are going to oh, now uh, probe uh, this differential reactivity of ca uh, carbene moieties in bit more details uh, looking at examples uh, of such uh, differential reactivity. So, as a result uh, uh, one can uh, to understand the reactivity one can look up uh, or draw various resonance structures uh, that are possible for carbon uh, uh, complexes and some of these resonance uh, forms are drawn here and these resonant forms uh, which can either represent a Schrock carbene or a, a Fischer carbene would uh, uh, explain the kind of reactivity the carbonic center would uh, show. So, I am going to illustrate the various resonance forms that are uh, prevalent for metal carbon moiety and down below. For example, one can conceive as L minus C plus X R or it can exist as L N M double bond X R that can also be sort of exists as L n m plus C minus x r and that can also exist as L n m minus x plus c r and let us designate this as uh, 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 some structures as a b c and d. So, uh, one uh, what one uh, finds that uh, the structure a and B sort of or A predominantly 
represents a fissure type carbene uh, where carbon center is positively charged and acts as an electrophile. So, this representation is more of fissure type. Uh, similarly, one can uh, uh, say that uh, the representation C is more of shrock type. as the carbonic center is del negative and uh, that it can act as a, a nucleophile reacts as nucleophile uh, and uh, this uh, structure D is uh, a extension of a fissure type uh, uh, compound which follows uh, from a fissure type uh, canonical structure. So, this also is a canonical form that represents uh, the fissure type and this is a neutral. So, what one can see is that the different canonical structures that exist uh, uh, for uh, uh, metal carbon moiety can vary from the metal center being positively charged to metal center being negatively charged and similarly the carbon center being positively charged to carbon center being negatively charged and certain and each of some of each of these canonical structure in term represents uh, uh, the type of reactivity associated with uh, particular classes of uh, carbenes that is uh, for example, A the canonical structure A and canonical structure uh, D is more of a fissure type whereas, uh, canonical structure C represents a more of a shrock type and the kind of reactivity A these carbene uh, complexes exhibit. So, these uh, carbene uh, complexes being important intermediates uh, which are very unstable otherwise and somehow uh, have been stabilized by forming metal carbene bond uh, have been uh, characterized by various uh, spectroscopic uh, uh, methods and of these the most uh, powerful one obviously is the X-ray single crystal crystal uh, crystallography where both the examples uh, of Strock and uh, Fisher type carbenes have been structurally characterized and we are going to look at some of the structures uh, of these uh, uh, structurally characterized metal carbon complexes and see how uh, their structure sort of uh, uh, represents the kind of uh, carbene uh, they are classified uh, into. So, in the next uh, few minutes we are going to look at some of the uh, classical examples of uh, Fisher and Strock carbon complexes that have been structurally characterized. So, for example, uh, this chromium uh, pentacarbonyl complex uh, C O E T N M E 2 and the structure it exhibits its chromium So, chromium is surrounded by 5 carbonyls and then is bound to a carbene with oxygen and corresponding ethyl group and then nitrogen with 2 methyl group. Now, these the metal carbene bonds uh, uh, what we see is uh, uh, slightly different that these all 5 carbonyl compounds uh, are not equivalent uh, the uh, 4 of them being equivalent and the 5th one being slightly long uh, different and what we see is that uh, 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 this 4 of these has a bond distance of 188 picometer whereas, uh, this one is slightly shorter of 185 picometer uh, whereas, uh, uh, the metal carbene bond is however, much longer at 213 picometer. So, this is a metal carbon bond, this also is a metal carbon bond, that this is more shorter that means that carbonyl uh, 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 the car carbonyl moiety is uh, more pi acidic uh, 
uh, that means that CO, CO is more pi acidic as a result that there is a metal to ligand back donation, metal to CO pi back uh, uh, donation uh, is more prominent as opposed to metal to carbene uh, back donation. So, uh, this has uh, sort of more stronger double bond character resulting in much shorter bond whereas, uh, the electron density of the chromium is not back donated much onto carbon as a result we see a longer uh, uh, chromium carbon uh, 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 bond. Mm, uh, also, uh, uh, the uh, uh, also, uh, the angle at carbi, uh, carbonic carbon uh, uh, is somewhat uh, between uh, uh, 105, this is 105 uh, degrees uh, 105 de uh, and whereas, uh, uh, this is 128 uh, and 126 degrees from here to here. So, what, what, uh, what it shows that this sp 2 carbon has been uh, pushed back from 120 to somewhat uh, 128 and 126 on both sides and uh, uh, this uh, OCN bond has been uh, become smaller as a result of these two bond expanding from uh, their 120 values and this has contracted from 120 to 105. Uh, the carbon oxygen bond lengths. Uh, and carbene nitrogen bond lengths are, uh, are uh, 135 and 133 picometer. So, uh, this uh, clearly uh, demonstrates uh, 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 the uh, structural characterization of uh, Fischer carbene. Uh, complexes where chromium uh, pentacarbonyl is bound to a carbene moiety that contain uh, heteroatoms uh, like uh, O and the nitrogen adjacent to the carbonic center. And also, uh, uh, what it can uh, be seen from here that there is a, a competition between uh, metal uh, chromium carbonyl metal ligand bonding as well as uh, chromium carbene metal ligand bonding and what we saw is the pi back bonding uh, uh, from metal to carbonyl is much more stronger than that of the pi back bonding from uh, chromium to uh, carbene. As a result, uh, the, uh, the bond distance between carbonyl carbon and chromium is much shorter 185 picometer as comp compared to 213 picometer from chromium uh, uh, to carbene. Uh, as a result, uh, this shows that uh, carbon uh, monoxide is a more acidic ligand than uh, carbene. So, with that let me conclude what we have uh, discussed in today's lecture. We have looked into a very important topic in today's lecture, particularly looked uh, at the differential reactivity of two classes of metal carbene complexes. These are mainly trans, uh, Fischer carbene and Stroke carbene and what uh, we saw that these two classes comp uh, of uh, carbene complexes display nearly opposite reactivity in, uh, in a sense that one reacts as a nucleophile and one, uh, the other reacts as uh, electrophile and what we saw that their differential reactivity uh, arises from the type of interactions they uh, show uh, uh, while making the bond carbonic bond with the metal. Uh, Fischer carbene uh, being singlet in nature uh, undergoes two ligand to metal, metal to ligand uh, uh, interaction but these are of coordinate, uh, coordinative uh, bond type, coordination bond type and as a result the carbonic center is positively charged and uh, uh, reacts as an electrophile whereas, uh, in the Schrock uh, uh, case the carbonic center uh, is in triplet uh, spin state and as a result it does interact with the metal forming two bond metal ligand sigma bond and metal ligand pi bond, but these interactions are uh, more covalent in nature where it engages itself with partially filled uh, metal orbitals. As a result of uh, greater electronegativity of carbonic carbon, the Schrock carbenes are more uh, 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 electron rich and uh, has a uh, del minus uh, delta negative character on it 
that uh, makes it uh, behave uh, uh, like uh, or makes it reacts like a uh, nucleophile. So, that is a very interesting uh, observation that we had seen that can be explained by the kind of uh, bonding interaction that this carbon uh, show with the transition metal. We have also looked uh, in this lecture at structural characterization of various uh, carbene complexes particularly with respect to X-ray uh, diffraction uh, uh, and for this pe chromium uh, pentacarbonyl uh, carbene complex. With that uh, I conclude today's lecture and we are going to be discussing uh, uh, more on these uh, properties, reactivities of uh, carbene complexes, their characterization techniques that have been used to uh, uh, prove these uh, uh, complexes in the next lecture. Till then, uh, goodbye and uh, thank you.